Thank you for watching this as a replay. I am Tanika D'Souza, the 100K Challenge Chick. And today I'm challenging you guys to take a pause and make sure you've even set yourself up properly so that you can have some business success. So that's what we're going to be talking about today is the one thing that if you skip this step, you're definitely wasting your time, wasting your money, wasting your energy, right? And especially as a mom, a woman entrepreneur, possibly between two careers, like starting your business and still working, um, we don't have energy time or money to waste right we those are the things that we care about the most at this point and i'm telling you i coach people every day i am running um the membership group which shout out to what my 100k society members you guys rock and i'm so looking forward to watching you guys grow your businesses but i see this all the time and i am not um <laughs> i'm not uh, in a place where I don't skip this sometime too. Uh, but that's why I have a team around me to make sure that I'm staying on track. So what is this step? What am I talking about? The thing that I'll tell you first is make sure you get some paper, pen, share this video, like it, comment. Let me know how you're, what you're thinking now because I'm going to share some content with you that I hope really does help you to propel yourself right i'm not um speaking about anything that's controversial or anything like that but i do want you to be open-minded to say okay yes i need to embrace this i need to understand this and i need to implement and do it right so notebooks i know y'all collect fancy notebooks i'm still using this one this is my fancy notebook of the day <laughs> All my coaching clients have a ton of notebooks. I have a lot of them like right here under my desk, but this is the one that I'm working in now. And I have my cute pen, yes. So you guys get your stuff and let's get into this. So if you skip this step, right? That means you are um, wasting your time, money and energy. So what is the this step that I'm talking about? And honestly, it all comes back to focus it all comes back to what is that one thing you're trying to accomplish and in my language this is called the win right what is your win how will you know that you were successful at doing what you said you wanted to do um if you don't define that in the beginning so here's how this looks I'm going to give you two um, examples one I pay a lot of money for my own coaching right so I go in with I want this specific skill set. I'm ready to go. I'm a business coach myself, but I still pay for coaching. I belong to programs and I pay a lot of money for that. And they all start with clarity coaching. They don't want any of us coming there thinking, oh yeah, I'm a business coach. I got this. I'm good. No, they're like, what are you accomplishing? What are we helping you to do? And we have to define that. The last program that I went through, it was detailed. I spent two days on a clarity workshop. It was amazing. And it absolutely forced me to grow mentally. And I had objectives for my business, right? So that's one that I wanted to share. I'm not above this lesson, right? I absolutely um, decide that I'm a business coach. I got this. I don't need to like focus because I can go out here and save the world, right? Everybody that wants to start a business, I can help them. <laughs> and I know that's what you guys are thinking because you say it to me. My coaching clients are always just like, I mean, anybody who wants to do this, I can help them. And I'm like, no, you can't. Like you have to focus your business, right? You have to be clear about what it means for you to win. And when I say that, I mean, starting your business, launching a new program, designing a new digital product, every single thing you do in business has to have a clear win. 
Currently, we're talking about the holidays and holiday sales. Even if you have an objective for your business, like me, a business coach, I still have to say, why am I promoting this particular product or service? What's the win there? Why would someone need this? What should I be talking about to help them get to that goal? And how will I be able to measure that I was successful? Right? That's the point of the win. So here's the things that I want you guys to write down. If you have your awesome little notebook, and this is absolutely the part that I want you to like really embrace and share, right? So you can share this video. Um, you can like it and comment and refer people back to it, but sharing it is definitely a great idea. So here is what I want you to be focused on. Number one, every single thing you do in business has to have a win, right? Um, I teach this. So my money ladder is a really great example of this. It has been redesigned. So this is the old um, view. But everything that I did with my clients started with what is the one thing you're trying to accomplish? What do you want to be known for? How are we going to help you accomplish this? It has to start with a focal point. So I want you to write down, if you are just starting your business, what is the objective? What, what do you want to be known for? What is your kind of overall win for your business? I want you to write that down. If you have already started your business, but you're ready to launch a new product or a service, or you have like your signature product or service, I want you to write down what is the win for that. Now, here's how you're going to consider the win is four parts to this, right? The first two are very important. The second two are kind of the next step after you develop the first two. So number one, what are you going to accomplish? That is the biggest part of a win, right? Um, if you're playing any sport, <laughs> you understand if you're playing football, the objective is to score a touchdown. If you're playing baseball, it's to... Um, Oh gosh, why can't I think? But basically the whole point is to score. So what does it mean for you and your business to score? As a business coach, to score, it doesn't mean getting a new client and they're paying me. It's my client seeing a result, right? So I don't want any of you to write that your win is the payment that you receive. That's not your win. Your win is to help the person that you're intending to help get the result that they're looking for. So write that down. What are you going to accomplish? That's the first thing. What are you accomplishing? Number two, for who? This is the part that everybody wants to skip because they want to save the whole world. And I've told you guys that I totally take that approach sometime and my team has to rein me in, which is why a two-day clarity workshop was so helpful for me. But who are you serving? Who are you helping? I was just on chat. And so if you're joining me, hi, I was just on chat with some awesome women in business. Um, and we were chatting in a group. And one lady shared with me that she's a travel agent. And for a lot of you, you'll feel like, okay, I'm a travel agent. Therefore, anybody who's ready to book travel is my ideal client. That's not who you serve. You don't serve everybody that gets on a plane. People get on the plane for a lot of different reasons. So in those cases, if you have a service or a product, I want you to narrow down who is the person you want to help, right? So in the case of that travel agent, she could say, I'm going to be known as the travel agent for all girls trips. And all she's going to post is girl trip after girl trip after girl trip, where you can go, how you can hang out with your friends, what are some awesome excursions, you know, those awesome Airbnbs, whatever it is, but she's going to focus her page on that. Here's what you accomplish. Whenever I'm planning a girl's trip, I know exactly where to go. But two, if she does a great job, then I'll also come to her for the family reunion, the honeymoon, the couple's trip, because I understand now that she knows what she's doing. What's unclear is when you just say, book your travel, 
I'll help you, blah, blah, blah. Because now I don't understand the unique reason why I should want your service. I don't know that you're going to help me plan parties, excursions. I'm going to get bonuses with you. I don't know any of that because you're not, you're not being clear and you're not resolving one issue. You're trying to accomplish everything for everyone, right? A business traveler, a girl's trip, a couple's honeymoon, family vacation. Those are all absolutely completely different. People need different things. So focus on one. Who is it that your who is your ideal client and how are they going to best be served by you? So, if you're new and this is you starting out a business or um, you're applying this to your business in general, I want you focusing on those two things first. What are you going to accomplish and who are you serving? Those are so important to have clarity on. And the last two is why do they need this service, right? So I don't want you to say, I mean, because everybody travels. No, why do they need a travel agent? for insurance, for security. You know, the travel agent has been there, done that. It's kind of like having a wedding coordinator versus trying to do it yourself. Clearly, you don't get married all the time where this coordinator coordinates lots of weddings, right? So is it the expertise that you need? Is there some reason why expertise is needed for this area? You have to inform your clients on why they need this service from you. For some of you, it's going to be really obvious. Like if you're helping people lose weight or something like that, clearly they already know I need to lose weight. And now you're going to address their specific need. Like, are you helping diabetics lose weight? Are you helping people lose weight that can't, you know, have knee or lower extremity pain? Because then they feel like you understand who they are and they will trust you to help guide them to the solution, right? So the first two were, what are you going to accomplish? Who are you accomplishing it for? Number three, we talked about why do they need this? I really want you to dig into that. Why do they need this from you? And then four, how are you going to solve the problem? So in the weight loss example, are, are they taking supplements from you? Are you doing exercise classes? Are you just giving them instructional videos? What is your actual solution? I want you to be clear on those things because what happens is if you're not clear, right? As a business coach, I can do so many different things. I have a lot of friends who are business coaches and we're all different. I am a hands-on coach. I want you to have time with me. I want to hear your questions. I want to challenge you. That's why I'm called the 100K challenge chick, right? I want to answer those questions. I am definitely more hands-in, hands-on, hear you out, answer the question coach, where a lot of my friends absolutely are more digital product. Here's my book. Here's my system. And we have different clients. So don't be afraid to be exactly who you need to be. Don't be afraid to offer your products and services the way that you're comfortable to offer them, the way that you decide is the most helpful for your clientele, because your clients are going to choose, right? I've had people come to my program and they're just like, I just want to read stuff. I don't really want to show up to coaching sessions and I don't want to do group coaching. I just want to read something. I'm not your person. I'm not going to apologize for that and I'm not going to change who I am. But if I'm clear about who I am, what I want to do, how I'm helping you accomplish your goal, then I'm not I'm not distracted to then go create a book and create this to accommodate all these people who don't fit my structure, right? So that's what this gets you. It gets you clarity about who you are and who you serve. It gets you the ability to focus your time, your marketing dollars, your energy toward the client that is right for you and your business, the client that you can get a result for. Right. And at the end of the day, as I started, I'm a mom, I'm a wife. I have other things going on besides my business. And I don't want to use my energy just overthinking and rethinking and procrastinating and trying to figure out 
10 things when I can figure out one thing, become the master of that and do it repeatedly in my business. A lot of my clients, especially when they're new, they're just like, well, this could work, that could work, this could work. Those are all true. Pick one and focus yourself there. So if you guys took nothing else from this, I do want you to know that I truly believe that you're gifted and great at a lot of things. But for your business, I really want you to focus on one, focus on one specific area of expertise and go all in on that. Will you have time to do the other things in your life? Absolutely. But if you build your business to that first hundred thousand dollars by focusing it opens doors for you to hire for you to do other things so that you can free your time to then expand and grow your business in other ways but you don't start by having a lot of things going on because you'll never ever ever get anything going to the point of success right everything will just kind of mildly be okay just working it did oh it did all right i know it could work but if you focus yourself pick that one thing right define your win define who you're reaching what solution are they getting if you do that work first then you have basically created a clear runway for yourself or as i call it your money ladder to say this is what i'm focused on this is how i'm going to consistently make thousand dollars in my business and then you continue to strategize from there until you're making your consistent ten thousand dollars a month so that's my thing don't skip the step of focusing don't skip the step of defining your win you will absolutely regret it you will absolutely waste a lot of time and you will also need to go back and define it anyway. So let's start there as we're approaching the holidays. Start with the holidays. What are you focusing on for the next two months? And just keep your focus there. You guys have a great day. Thanks for joining me for Win the Day. Um, my link in bio will have the money ladder. So go get your copy. Start writing this out. Write your plan to create business revenue, right? It's not a secret. It's free. You can do it. And it comes with a workbook. So do that work, focus yourself and start to build some momentum. You guys have a great day. Bye.